In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom loader for your digital product design. Let's get started. To get started, I'm opening up a blank origami file. If you're brand new to origami and haven't used it much before, I really recommend watching my intro video. In that video, I go over the whole interface and how to get started with the program. I'll link that video in the description. To begin, I'm going up to this plus area and then selecting progress ring. Origami has a lot of different kind of attributes you can add to your project, but for this tutorial, I'm going to add a progress ring that will animate. I'm going to select this option and then click place layer. A progress ring is added to the screen, but because the active color is white and the inactive color is transparent, and the background color is white, we literally cannot see it on the screen. So instead, I'm going to select the active color and make it a purple, and then make the inactive color the same purple at 20% opacity. So now we can see the progress ring on the screen, and it is placed in the center. I'm going to increase the thickness and the radius of the circle. So now that I've added that progress ring, I'm going to want to include an animation so the progress changes over time. So first, I'm going to add a when the prototype starts patch. So when the prototype starts is basically a timer that is set to true as soon as the prototype starts. So I like to do this when I want to include prototypes that don't involve user interactions and will just play on their own. First, I add this patch and when the prototype starts, I want it to wait for about one second before it does anything. So I'm going to attach the when the prototype starts to the wait patch. After one second, the wait patch will become true. And so when this is true, I want there to be a transformation of the progress of this ring, which is this value right here. This is the progress. So if I make it low, it's only a little bit. If I make it really high, it increases how much of the circle is actually filled in. So I want this progress ring to change over time so it will actually have multiple weight patches associated with it. So when this first weight is true, I want to include an option switch patch, which will let me control different values for one output. I'm going to add an option switch and then also an option picker. And I always use these two patches together. So essentially I'm going to set different points of the prototype to be true at different time intervals. And when that option is set to a particular value, I want the progress to be at a particular value. So I know that may sound a little confusing, but I think it'll make sense as I go through it. So first I add my first weight patch and I want this to set the value to one, let's say. And let's say originally I want the value of the progress to start at zero, then I want it to get to 0.3, and then eventually I want it to be at full opacity. So I set that option to the option picker, then I'm going to add another wait patch. After that one second, I want the prototype to wait about another maybe 0.3 seconds before setting to the second value. So when the second value is true, then it will go to this value right here, and then it will be at full opacity. When I set it to zero, this is technically the zero index. Setting it to one is this index and setting it to two is this index. So when the prototype actually starts, I want it to be set to zero because I want it to be at the zero zero mark. So I'm going to attach the when prototype starts to the set to zero. And then I'm going to attach the option picker to the progress value of the progress ring. If you look at the prototype, it looks like it's empty and only the inactive color is visible because the progress isn't there. I'm going to click refresh and then it went from a 0.3 to a full opacity, which is what we want to occur. To make it feel more natural, it's very you know static right now because there's no animation that occurs. We're going to want to add an animation, so I'm going to double tap, add a pop animation to make it feel really light. So I'm going to attach the pop animation in between the picker and the progress ring. And now you see it animate, but it happened rather quickly. So I'm actually going to add another option here. So I'm going to second click on option switch and then change my number of inputs to four. And then I'm also going to add another one for the option picker as well. 
So I'm going to start at zero, I'm going to go to 0.3, then 2.5, let's say, and then to one. Actually, I'll make it like 0.6 or so, which means that I'm going to have to add another weight patch. So I'm going to copy it and paste it again. The reason why I'm connecting this weight after this one is so I'm looking at each individual interval. You could connect all the weight patches to the when prototype starts patch, but I'd rather just connect it one after another. So once this is true, then it starts this patch, then it starts that patch. I'm going from zero to 0.3 to 0.6 to one. So here I might actually increase this to be around 0.6 seconds. And this I could also make about 0.6 seconds as well. So when this is true, then start this patch, which will then affect this value. I'll refresh it and then we can watch it. And it feels much more natural. Okay, so now when this is true, I want this prototype to change. So the user now knows that the loader is completed. I'm going to include a color transition and an icon to appear for this loader. So I'm going to essentially verify when it is completely filled. And I know that the progress is completely filled when the option picker has an output of one. So I'm going to double tap and add an equal patch. So what I wanna say here is that when this option picker equals one, I want a switch to turn on. And the switch will change some values of the prototype. So I'm basically verifying that when this progress is completely filled, I want some other action to occur. So when this is equal to one, turn on a switch of a color transition. So I'm going to add a transition patch, second click to affect the type and then go to color. I'm going to start it at that original purple color and I'm going to end it at a blue. So I'm going to attach that turn on to the progress of that transition and connect that to the active color for the progress ring. And when that is completely filled, I also want an icon to appear. So I'm just going to grab an icon and then place it in my origami file. I already designed this icon in Sketch and made it match the color of that progress ring. And I'm going to place it in the center of the screen by changing its anchor point. I want this check icon to scale up when the ring turns blue. So attached to that switch, I'm going to add a transition of the scale of this check. I'm going to attach that switch to that transition and then attach the end of this transition to the scale. So now if I replay it, we see the progress and then it pops. But it happens really quickly without any kind of transition or animation. So I'm going to add another pop animation for this that will go between the switch and the transition. And I'm also going to attach this pop animation to the transformation for the check icon. Replay it. That's much better, but it kind of feels like the check icon and the color transition begins before the progress is actually finished. So I'm going to also include a weight patch here, but the weight patch will be much shorter just because I wanted to have a slight delay. So I'm only going to have a 0.2 of a weight patch in between the equals and the switch. So this is basically saying that when this option equals one and the progress is completely filled, I want to wait 0.2 seconds before turning on the switch and having the color and the check transition. So I'm going to refresh the prototype and there we go. So that's how I create custom loaders for my digital product designs. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.